because our goal is to um, derive the aggregate demand curve and really study the aggregate demand side of the model, uh, now we need to introduce the utility function of households. Uh, so households here very much like um, in the basic model, they are going to value uh, two things. They are going to value uh, services, they are going to derive utility from services, and they are going to derive utility from their real wealth. Uh, and that's because um, real wealth provides um, social status to households, and that's something that they that's something that they value. Uh, when we had introduced the basic model, we had given a number of justification for that assumption. Um, in the basic model, real wealth is uh, held as real money balances, but and here it's held as re as real bonds. But it's exactly the same. Uh, the idea is that people derive uh, utility from social status. There's lots of evidence of that. And furthermore, social status is derived from wealth. There is also a lot of evidence of that. Um, so it's, you know, in a sense, although it's not a common assumption, uh, it's fairly, you know, given the evidence we have from neuroscience and other social sciences, it's quite uncontroversial to introduce real wealth in the utility function. Um, so, so we have these two parts, utility from services and utility from real wealth. So um, let's see a bit the functional form that we are going to assume. So let's look at the utility derived from services. Services that we have denoted by CT. Um, so here we'll keep the same functional form as uh, in the basic model. So the utility from services is going to be epsilon over epsilon minus one times CT, um, epsilon minus one over epsilon, um, with epsilon strictly greater than one. Um, so it's an you know, increasing and concave function of services. Um, epsilon, here's the parameter epsilon is going to govern the concavity of the utility of your uh, services. Um, so this is uh, you know, basically the same as what we had in the basic model. Then, so that's going to be a first element of the utility function. Then we have utility uh, from uh, real wealth uh, so here the only uh, store of wealth are government bonds uh, so uh, what's going to matter is the real stock of bonds that the household uh, holds So real wealth is held uh, corresponds to the real stock of government uh, bonds. Okay, and this real wealth we are going to denote it by uh, W for wealth of T. Uh, but here, so unlike the basic model where uh, real wealth was held as uh, the real stock of money. Here it's a real stock of government bonds, WT. Okay. <clears throat> and secondly, uh, so this WT, this real stock of government bonds, is going to enter the utility function. But because we think that real wealth matters because it provides social status, um, real wealth has to therefore be compared to the average real wealth in the economy. Uh, so you know, because what matters is your level of real wealth compared to the real wealth of the other people in the economy. Now, of course, here everybody's going to be the same, but in general, you could have hetero, you know, in the real world, you have heterogeneity. And what matters is what is your real wealth compared to the real wealth of the other households, uh, because it's your relative position that provides social status. So to capture this idea, uh, we are going to put not just absolute real wealth in the utility function, but relative real wealth. So we are going to introduce um, the average real wealth in the economy. Uh, 
This average read wealth will be denoted by W bar of T. Uh, and you know, it's going to be the average of the read wealth of all households. Uh, and so what's going to enter the utility function is a relative real wealth, which is just WT minus W bar T. And, you know, in, in a sense, this is something we could have done in the basic model. We could, instead of having just real money balances, we could have put relative real money balances. Um, it wouldn't have changed much. And in fact, you know, maybe I should have done it to be more consistent with this, uh, with a dynamic model. Um, because I think psychology, psychologically, you know, it's clear that um, I think the most compelling reason why people value real, real wealth is because it does provide them with social status and social status is inherently relative. Um, so um, it would have made sense even in the basic model to introduce the difference between money balances held by the households and uh, average money real money balances and look at the difference between the two. I think that would have been uh, psychologically more accurate and then also it would have been consistent with what we do here so uh, I guess in the next iteration of the course uh, that's what we're that's what we're going to do um, so anyway here we have relative with wealth that's going to enter the utility function and so then we're going to uh, introduce a function sigma which goes from R to R, which is uh, increasing and um, strictly concave. Uh, in fact, it's also strictly increasing. So we introduce a function sigma that's strictly increasing and strictly concave. And the Utility from real wealth is going to be sigma of W T minus W bar T. So here, this is our utility from services, and then we have a second component of the utility function to sigma W T minus W by bar T. Uh, and so this function sigma cap captures a sigma for status, um, the social status that households derive from having, when you know, extra social status when they have more wealth than the average, and lower social status when they have less wealth, less, less wealth than the average. Uh, and of course, here we are in a dynamic model, so then we can compute. So here we can compute uh, the aggregate utility. So the aggregate utility of the household is going to be the integral from zero to infinity of the discounted uh, discounted sum of, of flow utilities. So the discount factor is going to be E of minus delta T of the flow utilities. And here we have two components. We have epsilon over epsilon minus one CT epsilon minus one over epsilon. That's the utility from services plus sigma wt minus w bar of t dt. Uh, that's our aggregate utility. So this is uh, utility from services. This is utility from real wealth. Uh, and this delta here, uh, which is uh, strictly positive, that's just uh, the time discount rate. And real wealth, in fact, it is a relative real wealth, right? And this is going to be our aggregate uh, utility for the household. Uh, 
and so the, the household is going to uh, to maximize uh, to maximize this aggregate utility here. 